So it's it's new iPhone season, and every time this year comes around, there's always that question, which one should I get? Especially now that Apple is starting to release more versions of the iPhone. So this year we have the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. Horrible names, by the way, but we have three options of brand new iPhones to pick from. And you know, if you're dead set on getting one of these new iPhones, there's pretty much no way you can go wrong. You kind of just have to decide for yourself, what do you want? Do you want OLED and a third camera, or do you want the cheaper option? And if, if you know that answer, well, great, just choose that version of the iPhone 11. But there are certain options that I think most of us kind of forget, myself included, but this time of the year is the perfect time to buy an iPhone. So this is the iPhone XS, and up until now, this has been the best iPhone you can get. And yes, it's not a perfect phone. There are things that it probably could do, and there are things that the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro fix that this doesn't do. For instance, having that third ultra wide camera. But that doesn't discount that this is an amazing phone. Once Apple announces their new phones, this becomes the old phone. Even though it's still perfectly good, there's really nothing wrong with it. The only thing is you can't buy it from Apple anymore, but you can still get this. If you walk into a Best Buy or an AT&T or Verizon store, you'll still be able to buy this for the next couple of weeks. They still have stock and inventory that they need to get rid of. And if you're in the market for a new phone, this is not a bad place to look. I mean, think about it. What do you want in a new phone? Do you want a great screen? Check, you have an OLED screen here that is arguably one of the best on the market. It's made by Samsung, tuned by Apple. Great. You want premium build and feel? Well, whether or not you like the way this looks, you're getting that. Stainless steel on the outside, glass on the front and back is a premium device. You want powerful specs? Well, the A12 in here has you covered. Even though it's a year old, it still has headroom and it can still keep going. And that's great. Even though it's a year old, it's still gonna last you years to come. And of course you get iOS, which whether or not you like it aside, means you're going to have updates for the next couple of years at the very least, even though this is a year old. But the biggest reason to maybe look at an older phone as your upgrade is just the price. This is a thousand dollar phone that now that the new one is out is going to be discounted. And you know, it doesn't just go for the XS. Go look at the iPhone 10. Yes, you can't really buy one new anymore, but if you buy one that's used in like mint condition, you're probably gonna pay a max of $600. That was a phone that at the time it was new cost $1,000. But okay, I, I get it. Sometimes you just want a new phone. Well, you can still do that. Apple is still selling the 10R or even the iPhone 8, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend. But if you're looking for an affordable phone that has great specs, that works really well, well, the 10R is your best bet and it's going for 600 bucks. You can't really beat that. You know, it's fun to get new products. It's easy to get caught up in the hype of something new coming out. I ordered the iPhone 11 because I wanted to create content with it. I get excited about getting new things and creating with them. And when you see an Apple or a Google or a Samsung announcing their new products on stage, it's really easy to just want that thing. But sometimes that isn't necessarily the best way to go. Real quick, before we continue, I wanna thank this video's sponsor, Dashlane. Are you one of those people who has the same password for everything? Yeah, that's not good. You should have different passwords for every service that are also complicated and most likely hard to remember. So Dashlane saves and autofills all of your passwords and login information for every website. And you can also autofill personal information like addresses, phone numbers, credit cards, password details. All of this is saved in Dashlane so you don't have to remember it. It works across all devices and platforms, and it makes it really easy to share this information with friends and family without actually giving people access to your passwords. And this is just a little bit of what it can do. It can also generate really strong, complex passwords. It has a built-in VPN so you can browse safely online. So if this sounds like something you wanna try, which you definitely should, I'll leave my link down below in the description where you can get Dashlane Premium for 30 days for free. And then after that, you use the code MattGonzalez and you get a 10% discount. You know, I started thinking about this because I was looking at the rumors of the upcoming iPad Pro, and this is something we're expecting to see still in 2019. But as I was looking at what that was supposed to offer, 
Honestly, there was nothing compelling about it. And if that new one was already out today with at least what we're expecting it to have, which is a new camera system similar to what we have on the iPhone 11, there's really no way I can see myself recommending that new version over a used or cheaper version of the current iPad Pro. Technology these days is just so good that if you're buying something from today or from last year or the year before even, you're really getting something great. It's easy to get caught up in the hype, but don't really listen to it. Figure out what works for you, look at what you actually need, and then find the device that does that for you. If it's a used device, great, save some money. If it's the newest device, great, go get that. But there are options. You don't always have to get the new phone, even though sometimes it's fun.